Good morning, Lori and Jerry. PennDOT says the last time it has received an investment like this in infrastructure was back in the early 90s, and a lot has changed since then. Construction costs have gone up, there's more cars on the roads, and the bridges and roads have gotten older in Pennsylvania. So the state is certainly ready to see this money. And based on formula funding, it believes it's going to get a lot more than $11 billion uh, in money that will be going toward highway improvement, $1.6 billion for bridge replacement and repairs. It's also expecting nearly $3 billion to improve public transportation across the state and millions to build a network of electronic vehicle charging stations. And that's not it. Also money earmarked for wildfire protection, expanding rural broadband internet, clean water initiatives, and improvement at airports. We've really desperately needed this increase for a really long time. We're really excited about it. And we, what we need is, is also some state level solutions to help, um, to help those dollars go farther. And Senator Bob Casey's office says that the money that is earmarked toward bridges, that more than a billion dollars, that is the largest uh, amount of money the state has received from the federal government just for bridge repair since the 1950s. And that is when the interstate highway system was first built. We're live in Wormleysburg this morning. I'm Matt Barcaro, WGAL News 8.